Hello, Enzik family. This is Mariah bringing you a little bit of yoga to add on to my friend Jill's routine. Um, if you watch Jill's routine, it was absolutely beautiful, and she did a lot of poses uh, standing up on the yoga mat. Today, I'm going to keep us down on the ground on the yoga mat. We're going to work on our core, stretching, and strengthening our body. So please start by crossing your legs, sitting up nice and tall, pulling your belly button in towards your spine, squeezing your shoulder blades back in towards your spine as well. We're going to start with just a simple neck stretch. So take your neck to one side and use your head, hand to gently just pull your head, extending the opposite hand out to the side. And with any yoga routine, we want to focus in on the breath. And as we're stretching, we want to slowly stretch. And we want to do both sides. Keeping it even on the right and left side. Take a deep breath, sit up. Let it out through your nose. And then put both hands behind your head and gently pull your chin in. Keeping your breath going. Inhale. And exhale. Continuing to sit up nice and tall. We're just going to rotate our wrists one way and the other. Check in with your core right now. Bring your center in and bring your belly button in so you're engaging your core right from the beginning of this. We're going to come to a tabletop position. I'm making sure that my wrists are underneath my shoulders so we're nice and aligned. I'm going to arch my feet. We're going to go into the how, take a deep breath in, and then flatten your feet and arch your back like a Halloween cat, looking up to your belly button, exhaling, inhale your cow, exhale your cat, moving nice and slowly, inhale, and exhale. Two more times on your own. Let's meet in a neutral tabletop position here. I'm going to take my right hand to the middle of my mat and extend my left hand up towards the ceiling. And I'm going to thread the needle by pulling my arm through the space I've created. So my shoulder hits the mat, my ear is hitting the mat, I'm going to walk my front fingertips up to the top of my mat, and I'm going to look up at the ceiling past my armpit. So what I'm really doing is stretching several different muscles in my body, just ready to wake up and engage my yoga routine, keeping that breath flowing. Stretching your fingertips out a little bit farther if you can, inhale again. And exhale, and slowly come out, finding yourself in a neutral tabletop position. Now I'm going to do the opposite hand, which is my left hand, and my right hand goes up to the ceiling, reaching up and then threading my needle through on the other side, just slowly, slowly walking my fingertips out and up towards my mat. My gaze is going up to my ceiling, past my arm. Keeping my breath intact, slow, steady, deep breath through my nose, holding it for a moment, and then exhaling through my nose. I'm going to hold this for one more breath in, and exhale, slowly coming back to a neutral tabletop position. From here, we're going to walk up. Get on our knees, arch our feet. I'm using my hands to support my lower back and I'm really just giving myself a slight back bend here in camel pose. I'm arching my back, I'm looking up at the ceiling. I'm not pushing myself, I don't wanna hurt myself or overextend. I'm just finding the right sweet spot. And then slowly come back. Now from your tabletop, we're going to push ourselves into Downward Facing Dog. And in Downward Facing Dog, look at your hands and really start to engage your fingers by gripping up your mat and pressing your fingers into your mat. 
and with your toes, so lift your 10 toes as you push your heels towards your mat. So we'll do a little warm up here where we inhale, come up on our tippy toes, and exhale, push your toes to the mat. Inhale, come up. Exhale, push down. Inhale up. Exhale down. I'm gonna hold your dog still. We're gonna take our left foot in the center of our mat and lift our right foot up as high as we can, opening our hips. Just rotating one way and then the other. And bring it back down. Switching sides, opening and lifting, rotating one way and then the other. And bring it back down. Looking at my hands, making sure I'm really pressing my fingertips into my mat. I'm gonna soften my elbows slightly. Lifting my 10 toes, pushing my heels towards the mat and raising my hips up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. And then we come into high plank. So right away from high plank. You can always go to your knees if you want to at any time during a high plank. Again, I want to make sure that my wrists are in line under my shoulders, my elbows are slightly bent, and my hands are really gripping up my mat here. So I'm going to come up into my toes, and I want to be over my big toe mounds. <coughs> my belly button is up and in towards my spine, and I'm focusing right between my hands on my mat. So I'm feeling pretty much every muscle engaged right now. Breathing in. And out. One more breath here in high plank. And then we're going to go down to a low plank. And again, if you're on your knees, that's fine. You hold your low plank. And then you can have two options. One is to come into cobra. Inhaling, squeezing your shoulder blades, opening your chest. The other option from low plank would be to come into the facing dog. So notice my feet are flat. My shoulders are squeezed, my chest is open, I'm looking up and breathing in. And then I push back into downward facing dog. Exhaling out. Inhale. Coming into high plank again. Low plank. Upward facing dog or cobra if you want your body all the way down on the ground. My legs are lifted. And then push back to downward facing dog. Take two breaths here. And then we're going to lift that right leg again. And we're going to bring our right knee in through the center of our body up to our nose. Push it back up. Exhale. Inhale, bring it to the outside of your right elbow. Exhale, push it back up to the ceiling. This time we're going to take our knee, cross it over to the left side of our body, touching our elbow, bringing it back up. Both feet down. Take a breath in. Open your mouth this time and let it out. Do that again. Deep breath in. Open your mouth and let it out. Now I'm going to take my right foot to the center of my mat, my left foot up high. I'm going to bring my left knee in towards the center line, towards my nose, holding it, pushing it back up. And then to the outer left elbow, hold, push it back up. And then across my body to my right elbow, pushing it back up. Both feet come down, take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, let it out. Come into high plank, low plank, cobra or upward facing dog. And then we're gonna open our knees wide and we're actually gonna come back into child's pose. So my knees are as wide as my mat. My hands are still down. I'm actually stretching them forward. I'm nestling my body in between my knees. I'm gonna put my head on my mat, look back at my toes. Take a 
deep breath in here. Keep your arms off the mat so they're still engaged, but you're stretching at the same time. You can just you can see your arm muscles. You want to continue to engage them and stretch them. One more breath of child pose. And then we're going to push back into downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, I want you to take your right foot forward. We're going to come into a crescent lunge. But the first thing we're going to do is put our knee down and get ourselves set up. So check your knee. Make sure it's in line with your ankle. You don't want to overextend your knee and you don't want to be back here. Okay? You want it to be at a beautiful 90 degree angle. And you can stay right here. Or if you would like to engage a little bit more, you can come up. My hands are at prayer at my chest or extended up high. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna breathe and come up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Watching that 90 degrees, keeping it solid, not overextending in any way. And then I'm gonna come all the way down and I can put my knee back down on my mat and I'm going to take my prayer hands and twist using my elbow to push against my knee. And here I'm in a twisting crescent and I can stay right here or I can come up again. Another option is to open your hands. So one's on the ground and one reaches up high to the ceiling. And again, you can do that with your knee down. Oops, and up. Looking up, breathing in. Exhale, twist open a little bit more. One more breath, reaching up. Exhale, twist open. Good. Now both hands frame your front foot back and you're in high plank. We're gonna go down to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale. And now take your left foot and step it forward for crescent lunge on your left side. So again, I'm gonna suggest that we start with our knee down, checking our alignment, making sure our knee is at a 90 degrees over our ankle. My hands are gonna to go to prayer or I'm gonna extend them high up over my head, your choice. And I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna get a really nice stretch. Or if I wanna engage and work my muscles a little bit more, I'm gonna lift up that back leg, keeping the 90 degree integrity in my front leg. And I'm going to inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Up, exhale down. Two more. down and you can stay right here or you can come down to your knee again. This time I'm going to take my right elbow and I'm going to twist it and push it onto my left elbow. So I'm really using my elbow to twist my torso looking up at the ceiling and I can stay right here or I can engage my back leg lifting looking up. Inhale, exhale twisting open a little bit more and I can stay with my hands in prayer twisted or I can put them down reaching up my knee down or my knee up. Either way, you're gonna inhale and reach. Exhale, twist open. One more inhale. Exhale, twist open. Hands bring your front foot. Step back to high plank. Come to low plank. Go into cobra or upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and pump your knees and your legs right and left, kind of slow. Take your time, give your dog a little walk, a little stretch. Lift your right leg up again. We're gonna pull it through to our nose. Take it back up to the sky. Flip to the right outside elbow. Take it back up. And then across to our opposite elbow. We'll do that one more time. In through the center. Back up to the ceiling. The same elbow. 
back up. And then across the body. Back up. Both feet are down. Big inhale. Open your mouth and let it out. Bring your left leg up. Bring it through the center of your body. Back up. The outside of the same elbow. Pick it up. Cross the body to the opposite elbow. Pick it back up and we'll go through that one more time. Center line. Back up. Keep breathing. Inhale. Outside elbow. Exhale. Inhale. Pick it up. Exhale. Bring it across the body. Great. Now put it down. Come to high plank. Put your knees down. Push back into child's pose. Stretching your fingers out. Allowing your torso to nestle in between your legs. Touch toes are touching. Eyes are back at the toes. Deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it out. Back in child's pose. Come up to neutral tabletop position. We're going to come swing our legs around. We're going to work on our core. So, I have a yoga block here, which you may or may not have. If you do not have a yoga mat, or a yoga block, I should say, you can just pretend that you have one, like an imaginary one. So, we're going to start off leaning back and I'm going to show you how my back is going to look. So I don't want to do a hunch back. I'm going to do a nice straight back. My core is engaged. My chest is open. I'm squeezing the block and I'm just going to, my, my uh, heels are still on my mat and my toes are flexed towards me. And I'm just going to start off slowly watching my imaginary or real block. If you have an exercise ball, you can do that too. Play ball, you can do that too. And now that I'm in the groove, I'm going to maybe try to extend one leg and then I can switch and do the other leg. If I really want to engage, I can lift both. And notice the pace. Slow and steady wins the race, right? We don't want to twist our back, we don't want to hurt ourselves. What we're doing is engaging our core. Twisting slowly, it's controlled, you're watching, and when you get tired, you just take a breath and get right back into it. Your feet are down, you're still working your core, you're still engaging. So we'll do this for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six. You can do anything five more times, right? Four, count with me. Three, two, don't stop. One, okay, give yourself a rest. Come back. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Hug yourself. Tell yourself how awesome you are for engaging in this video, working your core, strengthening your body, stretching your muscles. Feet straight up, 90 degrees. My feet are flexed. I'm gonna sit on my hands, the small of my back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower my feet, 30 degrees, 30 more, and then to a hover. I'm gonna look at my toes and I'm gonna tap it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Straight back up to 90 degrees. Let's rest your head a moment. Take a breath. You can keep your head down or you can engage by looking at your belly button. Lower your legs 30. 30 more. Down to a hover. Tap. Nine, eight, six, four, two, one. Straight back up. Take a breath. Engage. Looking at your belly button. Down 30. 30 more. And then to a hover. Now we're not going to tap this time. We're going to look at our toes. We're going to flex them towards us. And then we're going to bring them up 30 degrees, 30 more, back up to 90, and then you can put your head down, squeeze your 
knees into your chest again. Big breath, hug, big breath. Now we're gonna do scissor kicks. So you can choose to support your lower back just like you did by sitting on your hands or you can have your hands at your side. If you want to engage, you can put your belly button or you can put it down. And I'm just gonna slowly put one leg down. And then when it comes back up to the top, I'm gonna to put the other leg down. And just like the twists with the yoga block, my scissor kicks are slow. My core is engaged. If my head and my neck get tired, I can rest them and I'm still engaging my core. If you're sitting on your hands to support your lower back, that's wonderful. And then now that my head's not tired, I can look up and continue to scissor kick. And I can even put my hands back here to support me. Not pulling my neck, I'm really just supporting the weight of my head here. Five, four, three, two, last one. Hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna rock and roll until we're sitting up. Give yourself a little rock. Sit up. We're gonna come into boat pose. So, boat pose, you do not need your block. You can choose to use it if you want. If you wanna use it, you can squeeze your block between your feet and you can keep your hands here. Again, you don't have to, using your block is totally optional. So your first step is again getting that nice straight back so you're engaged just by leaning back like this, right? I'm not hunched over, nice and straight. My core is totally engaged. I am leaning back, I'm gonna lift my feet up and then I'm gonna keep my hands here or maybe I'm gonna use my hands to support. Maybe, I'm gonna open my palm. Here we are, high boat and then we can come down to this boat. And back up to high and low and high and again I'm going to do this to help you either way high low one more high hold it for five four three two one and then slowly come down and sink your boat stretch your fingers above your head stretch your toes and give your body a nice long stretch Squeeze your knees, give yourself a nice hug. Coming to rock and roll and sit up again. We face each other. And what you did was you just engaged your core in a total body workout there. You engaged your arms, your back, your legs, and your core. And we're just gonna end it with a nice, simple twist stretch sitting up tall the way we began, squeezing your shoulder blades in. My belly button is closed for some time. So we're just gonna take a nice twist here, sitting up. Before I twist, I wanna sit up nice and tall, like I'm wearing a crown on my head. Looking to the back of the room. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Slowly, slowly coming back to center. Sitting up tall before I twist to the opposite side. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist a little bit more. Coming back to center. Hands in prayer at the center of our chest. We'll take one last breath in together. We bow together. Namaste. I bow to you for joining this brief yoga class, and I just want you guys to keep on going and